Now, I'm going to be tying, uh, I'm going to tie a wet version and then, then another video I'm going to do the dry version of the uh, Blue Bottle Fly, or Murray's Blue Bottle. There's a variant, slight variance. Uh, basically, the Blue Bottle or the Soft Hackle or Wet Fly would be this one, uh, Peacock Carol Head, uh, which is given at the variant side. Um, the Dry Fly is is basically the variant of a well-known Clyde fly called the sand fly. And all the all the difference is the body colour. Now there's like two good patterns, but I'll I'll film them separate uh, so you could look at them. Now the hook I'm going to be using this is the full and mill hook. It's basically the all-purpose medium. That's a size 14. Thread I'm going to be using is the uni thread, uh, 8 in black as you can see. Now I'm going to leave a space, a good good two mil anyway. This is going to be for the head of the, the fly because I'm using Peacock Carol, so she's using that as a guide. And then for the tinsel, it's just quite a simple tinsel, it's just a Lurex tinsel. Uh, it's copper blue yeah, from Uni. It's copper one side, blue the other, as you probably see there. It's a nice colour blue, it's ideal. And it's what we can buy nowadays. Now what I'm going to do is just tie this in the way down. It's nice and tight. To the point of the hook and then come back up nice and tight. Make sure there's wax on your thread. And then a wee touch of super glue you can wind this onto your varnish, it's up to yourself. Don't need much. Just enough to stick. Just wind up one turn in front of the other up to this point. Make sure it's secure. And uh, cut it away. Now you can use either natural black or dyed black. Now I'm using a dyed black hen. So first thing I'm going to do is just remove the fluff. Use my hackle pliers to get the tip of the hackle. So I can draw back what I need. Now I usually, if I'm tying these flies, I like a bit of hackle in them. And you represent like a small blue bottle or a small, uh, like a house fly near enough. Uh, basically this, I've got, it's quite a bulky looking fly so you can bulk it up with the hackle. Peacock Carol gives it the head, it works with the Peacock Carol. Now, as I say, all we do is just tie in by the tip, stroke back the fibres, face of the hackles towards the, the eye, or the front of the hackle. Take your time, run back the fibres, put as much hackle in as you like. There we are, I'm happy with that. Secure it in. Trim away the excess, yep, the waste. A wee bit of wax on your thread. Stroke back the fibres you don't need, or it's going forward anyway. Then come up, there's your, just tie in your head. So, I mean, basically this fly here is your Murray's Blue Bottle type. This is where it is here, or you can have a, a green bottle version. The one of the ones I like is the Peacock Orange and the Uni, the, the Uni Myla. I should have one here, I'll show you. This is number 16. This is, this is the one here, so it's orange. Uh, but it's a nice peacock, if I show you the, the colour on the inside. It's a nice peacock green. There we are. There's a great colour for tying another version of this. Now, we've basically got a packet of dyed black. This is Vineyards Peacock Carol. So this is it's really good. It's a couple of strands, it's fine. And uh, it's not too expensive. So, trim away the tips off. And then what I do is just pull it into the Cut ends. Just make sure it's secure. Nice bait. I like a decent head on these flies, so don't be shy. Now we'll make sure there's wax on my thread at this point. I've got two strands here, so I'm going to offer it along the side of the, the thread. Now I'm going to loosen off with the thread and then twist. Don't tighten the thread and then twist. Just loosen it so it comes into the the herald will not break if you do that. 
and then just build up a head with the peacock herald. Two or three turns and then take it back. It's really easy. You're really strong. Now make sure keep it tight. Just bring the thread back up here, it's just further down. Just catch it with a couple of turns. Now there's obviously there'll be some hair along the thread, just draw it down. Now what I do is just basically fold back the hair and whip finish. Winding up the way. I know it's it's a funny way of doing it, but it's actually it, it makes it easy and tidies up the head really well by doing that. Take away your thread, turn away your peacock hair out, and there we are. And that's the uh, variant of the Murray's Blue Bottle Spider as a wet fly. I say it's a nice wee pattern. And a wee touch of varnish. Just touch the head. Nice and light. Now, the varnish is a wee bit heavy. Now, just to let you know, that, see the varnish, I've just noticed that it's just been off a wee bit, it's a wee bit heavy. Now what I do, is I just leave it, don't, it's hardly worth varnishing, but with the vineyard varnish, what you've got, you've got the, the thinners, as you lay here. So I need to thin it down, so basically just, we drop in, thin it down a wee bit so that it goes on a wee bit easier. So it's not, if you feel the varnish is too heavy, which I do with the fly, just stop. It's a wee bit tacky, just allow that to dry, it's fine. And then I'll go back in with a wee bit, a wee bit of varnish, a wee bit lighter, uh, a wee bit thinner. So, anyway, there we are. That would be Murray's Blue Bottle, I'll say a variant, because I've got the Herald Head on it. But it's a great wee pattern, that. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go on to make another video with the dry fly version. Which is not far away from this, but you, you'll, you'll enjoy it. So, I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, thank you for watching.